Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom multi band compressor in Reaper. Now, a multi band compressor is going to compress separate frequencies in our audio. So, if you have a three band compressor, it'll have three separate frequencies and three separate compressors. Now, Reaper comes with one called Reex Comp. We can see it right here. This is set up as four band with four separate frequencies that are all going to be compressed separately. And this compressor sounds really good, but if you want to create your own using your favorite compressor, I'm going to show you how to do that instead. And I'm going to choose a compressor down over here called the Rocket by Stillo Audio. And it's a nice compressor that really pumps. Right now we have it on the master bus, and it sounds like this. I would break the last frontier To get to you or get you here Nothing's gonna keep me far from you Ooh. We can really hear it working. But let's say I wanted to make this into a multi-band compressor, where each frequency is compressed separately. So we'll start off by deleting this, and let's add a splitter. Go to All Plugins, and I'll filter Let's type splitter. And there's three choices here, three band, four band, or five band. They all work the same way, they just have more bands. For this video, we'll use the three band splitter, which is basically a crossover. It divides the signal into three places. By default, it's from 20 hertz to 200, then from 200 to 2K or 2000, and then 2000 to 20,000 or 20K. Now, if we play it right now, we're only gonna hear the low end. Because it splits it into three stereo channels, and we're only hearing the first one. If we go to our pins over here, we can see how it's routed. Channel one and two is going right here to the low output left and right. But we wanna use these ones as well. Now, if we put them over here, We'll hear it all, I would bring the last frontier. but it's not split into separate channels. If we want that, and we do for this, we need to add two more stereo channels. So let's do that right here, one more for three and four, and another for five and six. So now the sound is coming into one and two, and going out or split into six channels, or three stereo channels. But we're still only going to hear the first two. In order to hear them all, we need to add a mixer. Let's go back to our effects, and after the splitter, let's add a mixer. And right over here is an eight stereo to one stereo mixer. Let's add this one. Now we're only going to use the first three channels for lows, mids, and highs. So we can turn these off. And to see the pinouts on this one, we can go right here. And we can see all six channels coming in here and being mixed to our stereo output. So now we should hear all six, or all three stereo channels. I would break the last frontier to get to you or get you And it works. And we can balance it with our faders the low end, the mids, and the highs. Now, to see the routing that we have so far, here's our splitter and here's our mixer. And here's the pinouts for each one. So the sound is coming in to one and two, it's being split to six channels, low stereo, mid stereo, and high stereo. And those six channels are going to the mixer and being mixed to a stereo out, which is what we're hearing. So in this space right here is where we could add our compressors. And because we split it into three separate parts, 
we could add three separate compressors. So let's do that. Let's add another effect. A rocket. And let's make sure this is in between our splitter and our mixer. And let's check out the pins or the routing on this compressor. The sound's coming into one and two and going out of one and two. That'll work for the low end. We could turn these two off. And to hear it better, let's go to our mixer, turn off the mids and the highs, and we could adjust the compressor just for the lows. See how it tightens it up? Before. And after. Now we can add another one for our mids. Let's select this one, copy it, and then paste it. Let's put this one before the mixer, but after the splitter as well. Now it doesn't matter the order of our compressors, because they're running in parallel. But we should check the pin connectors on this one. And we should change this to coming in three and four, and going out three and four. So it's our mid-ins and mid-outs. And let's hear just that channel. I would break the last frontier to get to and let's do the same thing for the highs. We'll copy it, paste it, put it before the mixer, but after the splitter, check out the plug-in pins and switch this to five and six, which is our highs and five and six output. Let's hear that only on the mixer and adjust our compressor. Now each compressor is separated by their frequency. Now just so you know, you could use different compressors for each one, all made by different companies. One for the low, one for the mids. I just chose this one to keep it simple. But you can use any compressors that you want. They're all going to work. So now we can blend this all together in the mixer. Bring these all up. And let's hear it. I would break the last frontier to get to you all get you me. And we can bypass it by selecting all the compressors, right clicking them, and we can toggle to bypass them. I would break the last frontier. And to make this easier to see, let's rename their instances. Right click, rename instance to lows, mids, and highs. Open them all up. Here's our lows, our mids and our highs. Now we can adjust them each separately. Notice the compression is more subtle because each frequency is being compressed separately. So it doesn't pump as much, but it controls each frequency. The lows, the mids, and the highs aren't going to pop out quite as much. Now you're probably thinking, that was a lot of work to set this up. But we don't have to do it twice. We could save this as an effects chain, and it'll save the whole thing. So let's close this. Let's select them all. Right-click, go to Effects Chains, and save selected effects as chain. Or we could save all effects as a chain. Then we could name it Rocket Multiband Compressor. Then we could delete all this right here. 
And if you want to use it again, just right click, go to effects chain, go down here to rocket multiband compressor. And if we open that up, it opens up exactly how we saved it with our splitter, lows, mids, highs, and finally our mixer, along with all the routing that we did. So that's pretty much it. That's creating a custom multiband compressor in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.